Breaking up is a hard thing to cope with for most of us. As with the seven stages of grieving, most people go through a similar set of stages when they break up. One of the biggest challenges when couples separate is going from we to me. They go from focusing on something beyond themselves to just themselves. Hi and welcome. If this is your first time here, my name is Ernie Silovic and I'm a relationship trainer and therapist where I teach couples how to be masters in the art and science of love, romance, communication, fun, excitement, passion and emotional fulfillment. Regarding breaking up, it depends on the person and how much they love their partner how invested they were and how fulfilled they were. I have had people share their attitudes with me, ranging from thank goodness it is over to I can't live without them. How you respond also depends on whether you want them back or if you are wanting to hide from them for your own safety and possibly that of your children. It also depends on how you went separate ways, meaning if your partner passed away, which is very different from the others described so far. In addition, was it a mutual thing or one-sided? Whatever the situation, once the decision to break up has been confirmed, the best thing to do is to leave them alone. This is especially the case if you want them back. If children are involved, minimize contact with your ex as much as is humanly possible. People often think time heals all wounds. That is not necessarily true. Some people mourn for the rest of their lives. Some studies suggest that it takes longer to get over a divorce than it does a death and can take up to five years, depending on what research one looks at. I think one of the worst things to hear after a breakup from friends, family or strangers is the line, there are plenty more fish in the sea. This shows a total disregard for our feelings and implies that our feelings are somehow wrong. When clients come to see me, I usually begin by releasing negative emotions. I start with anger, frustration, irritation and the like. Then I work through all the hurt and sadness. Then I move on to any guilt or regrets. And finally, any fears. Following that, I work on any remaining negative emotions and then on what we call limiting decisions. We may even end up working on their values. Some cultures believe in mourning after the death of a loved one for the rest of their lives. I find this a waste of one's life. Because I am now very spiritual, and with the research I have done, I no longer believe in death per se yet rather that we go home. Going back to therapy with the techniques I use, they tend to provide fast and permanent solutions by releasing our negative emotions. If you have watched my other videos where I mention techniques that I use, EFT works on the premise that all negative emotions are the result of a disruption in our body's energy system. Timeline therapy uses time and learning to help people release their emotions. Hypnotherapy captures the power of the unconscious mind. Magnetic mind uses the superconscious mind. And the list goes on. My main point is that therapy does not need to be as long and painful as what society considers it to be. Change happens quickly. It is usually the preparation for change that takes time. If you feel you could benefit from some therapy as a graduate, you will receive in your Lesson 6 membership area an ebook for any future sessions you may desire, along with a link to book your sessions. As a bonus for being a graduate of my program, you get highly discounted rates for both the group and individual sessions. I trust you have have enjoyed this video and to ensure you keep getting more great quality information click on one of the other videos at the end here or if you really want your relationship to move forwards in the most effective way start going through your program awaken his passion a course for women or awaken her passion a course for men i go into more detail with this information there you receive a full 30-day money-back guarantee and get to listen to two-thirds of the course with online support in our undergraduate Facebook group to find out if it is a good fit for you, so click on the link in the description box. I trust to see you in our undergraduate Facebook group.